So also something new for um, Diagnostic Assistance version 13 in our diagnostic section. And this section has got some really strong reviews from our customers. Uh, this is the section which gives you the ability to make a check or test on a component. Uh, in the previous version, we'd listed petrol and, and diesel engine components, but we've also then majored in this version for chassis and body components. Uh, chassis and body components, if I click there, give me a list underneath of the chassis and body components. As we scroll through, we've um, covered the common body components that you're likely to come across in case of failure. Um, we've covered, you know, the typical stuff like uh, fuel filler cap levels, which are important, and they're a failure item for, you know, the FAP, the fuel additive system on a diesel. So we've, we've covered how to check those. We've gone into door motors. Um, so we've got covered here side window electric motors. The one next to it's an interesting development. Um, you know, since about 2004, many of these vehicles now are using what's called a smart actuator, where the component that's uh, previously doing a pretty mundane old job now has got an internal processor. And the internal processor is controlled by a local interconnect network or LIN. And so we've covered that motor, its function, and also how it interacts with the LIN system, and also covered off some, you know, the key tests that uh, are required and the output and the measurements that we need to diagnose that component as a failure. As I scroll through, you'll start to see then a color difference. Um, so once we um, move past the traditional um, motors and, and body stuff, we go into the screen section, which is all to do with ABS and ESP. So we've covered off the key sensors, brake pressure sensor. It's a big issue um, in terms of fault codes and testing. We've got ABS uh, wheel speed sensors. We've got passive and active. And in the active wheel speed sensor, we've also covered off the key types as there are several different types of um, active wheel speed sensor we give you component tests checks and comparison waveforms over the various different types of active wheel speed sensor we've also covered uh, what we're terming an esp sensor so this is a your w a yes yeah, sorry y a w your rate sensor and this is also containing the lateral acceleration sensor so the component test is equally valid for both those types of sensor inputs and again component test where it is how to measure what you're looking for under the conditions and also comparative waveforms multimeter readings and also scan tool output we've gone here to heating and uh, ventilation air conditioning we've got blower motor blower control in yellow then we've gone for bulb uh, control so bulb failure warning and also hid high intensity discharge or also known as zen and headlights and then in this um, light brown color we've gone for supplementary restraint and airbag system components crash sensor, seatbelt tensioners, um, seat pad occupancy, and steering angle sensors. And then um, in those, obviously, we've got each one of the component testers covered off. Here in the UK, legislative test now includes a visual inspection of the airbag warning light. So if the car has the airbag warning light on, it won't pass the mandatory inspection, and uh, the fault needs to be rectified. So this is a big demand from, from the market here, so we've covered those things off. Also then in blue, we've got covered um, steering components, so electronic, hydraulic, electro-hydraulic power steering systems, pure electric, and also steering angle sensors. And then last but not least, we've also covered uh, pressure, tire pressure monitoring, TPMS systems, um, and the, the various components therein. As well as the body and chassis components, individual component tests, we've also covered some some testing and, and processing so for instance uh, in the body and chassis we've got CAN bus circuit testing electronics uh, sorry electric circuit testing uh, relay testing um, uh, we buffed up on that uh, SRS system testing and um, we've also got a new section on uh, electronic control module reflashing so coding and programming of the electronic control modules if I just take you back into component test we can have a look at um, We'll have a look at the, here we go, side window electric LIN to give you an idea. When I click on this, if you've been using version 12, the next page will be familiar to you. If not, if you're a new um, customer for diagnostic assistance, uh, each of the component tests that we've got listed come into this format. There's a single page, and on the page there are four boxes. The boxes are component information, what it is, what it looks like. All of our components are colored um, photographs rather than being a line drawing, so you can see exactly what you're looking at. 
how it works, description operation, then what happens if it, if it doesn't work, failure mode and effect management, and where the component's located. So once you've got the background of the component, the idea is that you can do pretest information. Pretest information gives you a picture of the diagram. It gives you a description of the wires that are connecting that component to the system. We also list then generic component uh, failure and fault codes. And the idea here being um, you can actually get to the component test page from a scan tool. So if your scan tool gives you a fault code, you can use the software in the search button um, to come through to a fault code. And here we've got um, use 0202 data bus door function control module D no communication. Um, and we can actually get to that much more simply and straightforward. If I go back to the home page and I click on search and then my search button, I go for my scan tool, U0202, and I click on search. It should take me to the component display. If I click on display, we'll shut the search box down. This is how we get to the component test. And you'll see that the fault code that we'd uh, put in our search item is listed in green. That means we can get from a fault code to a um, component test using the search function very quickly. So the generic component tests are in there. And if we scroll down through, we've also got then master tech notes. This is a key one that we've had rave reviews back from our customers that have been using version 12, the first of our updated versions that came out last year. Our master technician notes really give you those silver bullets, uh, hints and tips, and really stop you falling into diagnostic booby traps. And this talks you through all about that motor, how to do it, how to check, how to test. And then we've got the test information, what it is, where it is, how it checks, uh, connection illustrations. So if you're gonna make a test on the motor, how you should connect. And here we've got a low amps current clamp on the main supply and ground. And then we're using um, this other connection here to measure the signal in. And then the third and final, sorry, the fourth and final box is test results. And the test results give us an idea of things we're expecting to see and um, with a multimeter with a scope with a scan tool and what should happen if we get an unexpected result obviously we've got links through if i click on the window this will also take me through to a reference and uh, in the reference page it can give me a view about the component test and here you'll see it start to scroll through the various stages of the waveform that we've got um, and we can see here electric window integrated module. This is playing through a sequence of tests because this component can be checked under several different conditions. Window up, window down, um, you know, window not moving, and then we can check the motor or we can check the communication network. So here we can see a picture of CAN up above and then LIN in green down below. And then the waveform is actually broken down further with description. So we can see that the switch mechanism versus the, the motor current to really get you to grips with them um, you know what's going wrong what's happening and if you get one of these that's failed you've got everything you need to make a quick and accurate diagnosis uh, in common with the other waveforms that we're looking at we've got uh, connection notes uh, including photographs of where and what to measure and also where relevant then we've also got um, some waveform notes i can go back to look at the component test sheet that we were looking at before um, and just to finish off each of my component test sheets um, which we've mentioned previously, we have got a technician notes which the, u the user can make and store and save notes relating to that component. I'll uh, click back to diagnostics which will take us back to that front page of the chassis components. So you can see uh, new for version 13 there's a whole heap of stuff that's relating to chassis and body components which we um, are anticipating will save you time and effort in diagnosing body related engine faults.